winter wheat is a crop that responds as well to management, maybe even more so than any other crop. There are some essentials that if you don't do with winter wheat, you are not going to be successful in the long run. You have to seed it on time, you have to seed it shallow, you have to seed lots of it. And if you're going to really recoup the value of your investment in winter wheat, you have to apply a nutrient level that, that relates to the yield that you expect. If you're looking at uh, trying to scavenge nitrogen with winter wheat, you're going to be sorely disappointed. You're not going to get the yield advantage. So you have to spend the money to get the money. We focus on uh, managing intensely and getting the yields up. Uh, lots of fertilizer, you know, the seeding rates, fungicides, the whole nine yards. We want to treat it just like any other crop. You know, with every other crop, you're looking at that high performance, pour on the juice style mentality. And so you're looking at increased fertilizer. You want to make sure you're putting the right herbicides on. If there's disease, you want to make sure you manage the disease, whether it's with an infect insecticide or some sort of a nutrient management plan. Because at the end of the day, um, you want as many bushels as you can at the most quality you can. So high protein, um, number one uh, winter wheat. We find harvestability is much better with the using the, the high input. Uh, program than a low input program and that's key. You know, harvest is always key and, 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 and quality. We seed treat. We, uh, we apply phosphorus with the seed in, in, a, in the seed row to enhance uh, the, the growth of it in the fall. And, and in season, on irrigation, we're using growth regulators on it. We're applying high rates of fertilizer of nitrogen to optimize the yield that, that can be there. So, so we do treat it like a high, a high production crop because it can, it can return a lot of yield and dollars per acre. To ensure that winter wheat is a high performance crop in my rotation, I make sure that I'm using seed treatment and that I'm applying um, adequate fertility in the fall time and that I'm providing fertility in the spring in a timely manner when I can uh, enhance yield and also I'm looking at fertilizer rates that can uh, uh, result in winter wheat yielding at least 20 percent more than spring wheat yields. Our goal on our farm is to grow 100 plus bushel winter wheat every year. That is our goal. And so we do everything in our power to make it the best crop that it can be. And that starts pretty much a year ahead of time. We pick our field, we make sure it has a, a clean seed bed, we use certified seed. We find that winter wheat uh, really responds to fertility. So we, it's, our, it's our highest fertility cereal crop and uh, yields can really be pushed. When we have adequate water supply especially, uh, yields can really be pushed with, uh, with proper fertility. And we've also found that uh, over, the, over the years, uh, ma to maintain and protect that yield, a fungicide application is very important. And, and as we've gone to that over the years with our winter wheat crops, we've found that we've got very stable and very high yield. Winter wheat loves nitrogen. Uh, we put starter nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur with the seed, and uh, as soon as uh, we can get on the land in the spring the next year, we go in and try and dribble band all our nitrogen uh, at that time. I think the other thing is disease has become such an issue uh, in our area the last while that if you want to grow a good, high yielding, quality crop of winter wheat, the use of a seed treatment and fungicide is a must. And if you do those things, uh, it certainly improves your chances of getting a good quality crop. We put on the nitrogen. We'll shoot for um, 80 bushel crop is a, would, would be nice, but I think we can get even more than that. So we're, we're going to fertilize for 80 to 100 bushels an acre, and there's potential with some of these varieties to probably do much better than that, or, or better than that anyways. Um, and the, the fungicide is a big deal too. I think that coupled with the nitrogen can pay uh, big returns. Fungicide's are really important on winter wheat. So we'll go with uh, half rate at herbicide time and then again at flag leaf and then again at flowering. And if I could emphasize anything, it's really important to protect that plant and then in flowering to protect that head. If you want to have a good yield with winter wheat, you need to put the inputs into it and, and make it a high production crop. 
I, I've had 90 bushel to the acre winter wheat on dry land, which is unheard of in our area. But that is by doing a good job of agronomy work, right, using the right uh, seed treatments, using the right amount of fertilizer, and making sure you fertilize it at the right time, right place. You have to treat it the best that you can to get the most bushels that you can get out of that crop. And if you treat it right, and Mother Nature works with you, uh, you'll have a good crop. You won't be disappointed.